some boss talk one on one. One on one. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit, big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique host. It's your boy ECEO. I know Money Moses, by the way, and we're creating content every damn day. Say, man, it's going down, man. It's really going down, man. My boy, my boy, he made it, man. Hey, he okay. back on the show again, man. It's my boy, okay. Smoothie. Poppy is in the building. Okay, then, man. Say, man, long time coming, baby. You feel hey, me? Hey, man, but one thing I can say, man, every time I call you, man, you always show up, man. You ain't, hey, you always there for me, man. Thanks for counseling me, nigga. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> say, man, hey, man, today marks a, 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 a hell of a day. Today is the day that uh, PMC died, I believe, in 2007, I want to say. Right. Uh, man, uh, uh, RIP to PMC, man. You know, yeah, me and you 17. both, you know. We serious about yeah, the PMC thing, film. yeah. So you know, I see a lot of people posting Bum posted, he's a Leo posted. Uh my boy Steve, Steve Belo. Nobody had interviewed him. If you're watching my show, you'll see. Yeah. You gotta go back and tap in. Come on. He, yeah, Steve Belo was uh, a protege of his. Bun mentioned him on Beehive. I brought him over yeah, here. Yeah, I said I watched that interview. Yeah, with Bun and Beehive. Yeah, you should tell him I'm the new I'm the new protege. Hey man, you hey man. Tell him I'm the new, <laughs> he didn't tell me nothing. <laughs> hear me. I watched you. Hey man, that's dope, man. But I'm telling you, man, uh, just uh, watching your movement, man, uh, all the stuff that you did within the last year, man, is crazy, man. Right. So, so you know, um, when I think about, you know, everything that that that, that consists of you, man, that muddy water and all that, yeah. you know what I'm saying, when you dropped, you had the city going wild last year. Uh, I mean, you could listen to that thing from start to finish, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. when you done that, I mean, can you top that this year? This 2022? Yeah. Hey, what they gonna do? Hey, every year it like it's like football, baby. When I came in as a freshman, it you gonna top this shit the next year. You feel <laughs> this shit gonna get better till I check out. You feel Already, me? man. So I seen you, man. People posting. I seen this nigga posting you uh freestyling in your in, in the locker room in the locker here room. recently by last week. Yeah. I started seeing that thing trending. Hey, man. That was 2010. We went viral before you could go viral. We were going viral already. Wow, man. So so what uh what what make what what make you uh when you when you think about just the the, the rap game, man, what what keep you going, man? Shit, my kids and my family. That's it. That's real. That's it. This shit is fun. And the family. This shit fun for one. It's fun. If we, we been, you from Texas, you been freestyling. You from East Texas, you for sure been freestyling. Then it's the chance you can make paper. I like, oh, then I can really make some money off this shit. It yeah. is. That's that's what it's all about. Yeah, come on, man. Uh, now, since the last time you left, I seen you. You you've been pushing and moving too, like fast, fast, fast. Yeah. Like hey. at, at first, I wouldn't even pay attention to you, but now it's like every time I look on there, it's like all I see is your post. You posting, you posting this, you yeah. posting. I'm like, damn. Now I ain't never see this nigga, but now I see the nigga all the goddamn time. Like yeah, you man. moving fast. Like I see your content, like creating content yeah. every damn day. You gotta fast. create it. Like fast. you have to create it. So it's like, well, what inspired you? Just keep dropping like that. Like oh man, really? It's just. The, as a as a fan, like being a fan of somebody, like I'm a fan of I'm a fan of a few other rappers. You feel me? Like I want to see what they doing. You feel yeah. me? You got it's like understanding what the fans want to see, and it's to stand in their face, being consistent. Like you're still a fan of somebody. If somebody go missing for two months, you like what the fuck? It's like when the show in when your show you watch every fucking weekend in. You like damn, what the fuck I'm supposed to watch now? I'm yeah. I'm ready to watch it again. So. Shit, it's just like I'm giving them what they want to see. Like, even if it's some, even if it's me talking about some crazy shit, you feel me? I might, you might see me going, I'm talking about the red flag shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just anything to give the folks content or to see what type of person you really is. Like, you ever think your, uh, your fan could, uh, I ain't gonna say them, like, uh, you ever just made a question about your fans, like, hey, your fans, like, hey, what kind of song I can make today? And that your song, your, that your fans pick? Man, I, I, I really never have, because. It's always a vibe, and it's because I don't even know what song I'm gonna make when I go there. You feel me? A lot of people, a lot of people go in there and write their songs out and write. Man, I don't. I haven't wrote a song since 2018. Oh, you can finish. Oh yeah, 2018. So, shit. When I go in there with Jay, so and Jay, that was just he make them bitches from scratch. They all fresh, so it's all fresh. I don't even know what the sound gonna be like. You feel me? So it's all right then and there. I'm like the reason why I said it because I was like, it's like. You actually give your fans access to to do something with them. So yeah. it's like you actually bundle with them too. So he made this song, me he might do it for somebody else. So he might like you probably be the first one to actually do that. Right, yeah. You know, oh, I have made a song for like for certain people, you feel me? I made a song for certain people, but that's a that's a new that's a new lane right there. I can jump on live and 
Hey, what type of song? What y'all, what y'all want? You feel yeah. me? Well, the topic. Yeah, yeah. Pick a, yeah. Pick a certain topic and then go with it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so uh, what? What do you think, man? Who? Who? I mean, I, I've been trying my best to keep uh, East Texas uh, going, man. And and just anybody, you know, I, I I know Smitty doing her thing down there. Anybody new down there that's that you know of that's that's really making waves that wasn't making waves when we first had our conversation. Man, or it's still about the same thing. Yeah, I'm putting you on the spot, kind of. You know, I'm 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 a Tessa kind of baby, so I'm I already know that. Tessa. Man, this little nigga named uh, Little Butler. He young. Little Butler. Little Butler. He young as hell. He might be like 16 Maybe 15 He young But they own it They own it They make drill music Already And that's how they living You feel me I'm going to so, look him up You know I'm going to look him up Lil Butler B-U-T-L-A-A -A, man Shout I'm out I'm going to look that little nigga up man. Lil Shout Lil out Lil Butler nigga Hey Boss Talk 101 You came up on the show today Come Hey Smoothie hey, put you out there bad man It's Come going on, man. down man Ban Jones. Ban Jones. Jones from Tesla County. I got a song with Ban. It ain't released yet. I got a song with Ban Jones. Jones. He a bad motherfucker. You hey. Feel? Young. 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 I so. like that because them young boys need that. They need that, man. They yeah. need that push, man. They need that. You been, hey, you been doing it. You been in the game for a minute, man. And you got to do something to try to reach back and help the yeah. other one. So I like that, man. You coming with a different style. I done had some niggas get on here and freeze at those kind of questions because they, they try to keep too. it all to themselves. Yeah, I just been saying they're going to keep it all to themselves. Yeah. They don't want nobody else shine. But, but like, the, the way you going to help, some, uh, the way you going to shine is helping other people shine. They don't even know that, though. Right. Like, so once you shine, they gonna put your hey, this man helped me on, this man helped me on. Like everybody saying you helped me on, they gonna look at you. Yeah. So yeah. why not keep doing it? Yeah, yeah, man, and 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 I gotta bring up another subject. I've been bringing up every interview because Dolph meant a lot to the whole. And and some people, would, if you don't want to speak on it, you don't have to, and and really don't have to be a direct speak. But but I'm asking you, like, how do you move now? Uh, uh, I know you always move, move with, with precision, but yeah. how do yeah. you move uh, with the way they targeting? It seems like rappers are targeted. It seems like what you're saying is coming, becoming your 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 uh, your reality. Power the tongue. Yeah. So I yes. mean, what are you doing? How you? How does that affect you? And, and, and how do you look at it when something like that happened like that? And I'm not just talking about him. I'm talking about King Von. I'm talking about all the ones, you know, uh, right. it was this duck, that, that, that Ducky P dude. Right. Uh, um, it, it, it's I've been a bunch of people, man. Just how, how, does that, how does that affect you and what does it do? What does it make you think about? Man, really, we, the, this generation of us, we fortunate enough to get to see the shit on the internet. You feel me? So, it's lessons. If you're not learning from that shit, then you lost. You feel me? If you're not learning from, you can it, it go to so deep on the internet when something happened to a rapper. You can see what happened, what they did, what, what they time? did before that, what time. So if you're not looking at that like, oh yeah, let me make sure I never do this shit, or let me make sure I never go over here like this. You feel me? Yeah. You got to look at it as a lesson. I and like you say, I. I've been moving like that already. Yeah, you already moving different. You feel me? So it's just like being smart. Don't ever think so. You too, nothing can't happen to you because yeah. it, it can. I done had it happen to partners of mine. That's yeah. what made me yeah. move like that. Like uh, rest in peace, Carlo Clark. My yeah. cousin got killed. This yeah. is somebody I'm with. This is my cousin. You yeah. feel me? He got killed. I'm in Waterburger. He was at uh, the gas station across the street on the other side of the state line. You feel wow. me? So. You know, that's seeing that that shit can happen from that day forward. It like, man, I'm not taking no chances. Or, oh, now nah, I'm good. Hurt now. Nah, I feel like I don't give a damn. I ain't got too much. I, I feel like I ain't never good. Mm -hmm. No, no, you you 100 percent right, man. To, to to take those precautions, man. Right. Um, what talk to me about hell now, man? Yeah. What, what's up with hell now, man? I mean, you know, <laughs> this is not this shit they said, y'all. Come on, man. You really started again, hey. <laughs> Man, man, your energy be on just on point, bro. I love the energy. I love the vibe. And a lot of people, like I say, they be tapping in. Which I seen you down there with Sean Cotton. Yeah. When they, you know, shout out to Sean Cotton. You you bless the places. I be watching, and yeah. then I seen you uh, uh, in a different. I, I be seeing you moving around, bro. Right. And I think that's important too. You be in H Town. You on the you you performing on stages in H Town. I'm like, okay, I yeah. see him over there now. So I yeah. pay I pay close attention to you because I love you, you family, and and I'm like watching. To see where okay, what's going on? If you need me, I always tell you I'm here. But at the end mm -hmm. of the day, I love what you're doing, man. So, so 
rumor had it, I got to bring this up at one point, but uh, rumor had it that you were signing the 1501. Did that happen or did you did you Man, change we, it up or y'all still we, strategizing? Yeah, we just, you know, we just. We I know just, y'all, y'all all, you know, linked Yeah, in. you know, when you kind of, family. You, when you kind of, you know why I was. Yeah, you already <laughs> know where you at. You know what I'm talking Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We did, we, we, we kicking it. You feel we yeah. talking. We, we talking. Talk, yeah. So. I think it's something, uh, you're a different kind of beast, different kind of animal. There ain't many out there that's like you. Yeah. I mean, your style is different, man. So it's it, it definitely approachable, right. but then nigga don't know how, what he going to do with it. I think all that becomes a factor, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Um, I, I see you and Sergeant J still locking in, man. Come on, man. Uh, that's, a, that's your brother from another mother. Huh? Yeah, uh, that's, my, that's, that's like that my... Him and his brother like that. Sergeant B, sound. man. Shout out to Sergeant B, yeah. man. Sergeant B, an engineering beast, man. You feel me? Hey, Sergeant, Sergeant B, my voice. And Sergeant J, my heartbeat. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, I'm just like, like I know coming from out of East Texas, man, uh, that sound, the way that he, a lot of the reason, uh, the engineering that Sergeant B do, mm-hmm. there's a lot of reason that a lot of music sounded the way it did and gave a lot coming of push to, of the, to, the, to the whole East Texas yeah. movement. Because really, if you, if you really look at it, East Texas really ain't up to par for music and this resources and shit correct, like that. So correct. Sergeant B is really a, a gatekeeper down there for us mm-hmm. keeping the sound uh, up there with everybody else in a major city. Correct. You I you see that. You don't really get no fall off. So. No, no, no. I see that. And, yeah. and I think that's dope. Uh, shout out to Sergeant B. You supposed to be coming back on the show, Sergeant. I've been hollering at you, man. What's up, nigga? Hey, your boy ECEO. You know how I call. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But at the end of the day, man. So, what can we expect though? Like, like, how, how you gonna is is can you name anything that's coming in twenty twenty two full T- project? Tessa County Baby Two coming. Okay, okay. Me and then. Sergeant J and uh, it's gonna have some Nook beats. Uh, Sergeant J and Nook link up and they go in on beat shot the Nook ahead. Okay. Uh, till Tessa County Baby Two and the features. Uh, man, I ain't got no feet. Well, D Raw, I got D Raw on D Raw. I got D Raw. Me and D Raw just did one two days ago. You feel me, man? Man, when I pull up to the studio, Jay gonna be me, Jay. D Raw gonna pull up. He gonna pull up. D Raw, nigga, if he ain't already there, pull up. Pull up. That's dope. Y'all at the studio? Then pull up. Man, that because he like that work. He like that work. Man, I that, can fuck with a nigga like that. That's how you win, right? Right, every time. Yeah. So, so do you? Can you? Pro- okay. So y'all send each other be since Sergeant Jay is down there when you go to East Texas County, y'all might be Man, I hear I hear Jay and say, Ooh. I hear Jay and say, Hey, I'm gonna go to the studio tonight. I send me some. He he send he shoot that shit right on over and that that did what it is. Man. And man. I don't listen to it, like I say, I don't listen to it till shit it's time to go in there. You feel me? I want it to be fresh. I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want to be listening to the whole. I understand you saying. As soon as you get that shit flat, you yeah. Know, look, shot, the exactly hardest shit saying. you say is when you first hear it. Yeah, when you first hear, you like when you damn, first hear, so then you gonna be like, damn, I should have wrote that shit down. Yep. Nope, I'm gonna listen to that beats when I get in there. I might even go through the whole all the beats if I hear the first one and that bitch the one. I'm yo load that up. I'm going in. Then I listen to the rest of them. But yeah, that's all it is. I seen you uh, did something with uh, it was. I think it was two guys from Marshall. Uh, did y'all ever even do? Did that ever even come out, or I'm is it still? It was, did y'all have like the four horsemen or something? It was you. Oh uh, yeah, uh, me, Luce, uh, on site, Joseph Luce, Will. Say, yeah, free Luce. Free Luce, man. Free that boy Luce. Yeah, so, yeah. so I did that. That project never came out. Nah, we just we uh we did two songs. We got two songs put up. We were gonna we were gonna try to shoot a video, but everything so much shit was going man. on. Everybody was having some sh- shit in motion, so. You know, uh, you know when 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 they when they let Lou stay out, though, shit, we gonna we gonna pick up what we left off. Here. I interviewed him, you know, right before he went. Yeah, you know, um, uh, I I I told him just to be strong and uh, it's a good, that's a good nigga. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And, I, and, and part of it is, shit, he didn't got too big for where he at. You, exactly. You gotta grow where you at. Being in East Texas, it ain't once you get some friction or you know, some static going. You know what I'm saying? You get rolling in the East. Shit, it ain't too much. It ain't too long before you get so you gotta go on and move. So around. you agree with Boosie when he say you gotta leave your hometown? It ain't just the smallness of it; just the fact of how big you getting it wherever you at. Yeah, is it important or do you feel like you can live in your own town uh, after you success? Shit, I think you gotta move. I, I think, don't think nobody can. No, I don't think not 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 in this day and time. No, it's like it, it, when you out there when you really doing good it's Back in the day, in the '60s and the '70s and all that coming up, if Sam Cooke was the man, 
You only knew Sam Cooke was the man when you heard it on the radio or when you went to a show to see him. Mm-hmm. Now, if you the man, or if you got any type of wave they on, you on Facebook, you on Twitter, you on Instagram. Uh, they can play your shit from the car, you know what I'm saying? So you, it's somebody like Booster say, if it's a nigga that I already didn't care for you for whatever reason. Because he grew up with you. Because he grew up with you. the same shit, now you got way more than him. You feel me? He, he might. You. A lot of niggas, uh, uh, niggas won't say it, but a lot of niggas have issues with rappers that get successful because deep down, they be wanting to rap. Yep. If they wanted to rap, that was their goal, that was their dream. And it's like, oh, this nigga... This nigga doing this and you feel me? They can't stomach that shit. So, well, what about when when a nigga do rap and he just can't get his stuff going and he he it's gonna even, hate too? It's even worse. That's the that's the worst one. He, he probably won't probably kill you. Hey, that's the worst one. That's the one. Yeah, that's the one that and and, and folks like that are, are look for another nigga that don't like you. The to try to recruit. To, yeah, 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 to yeah. Try to recruit niggas. Recruit now. Niggas recruit niggas. Hey man, I don't really like this nigga, man. He won't say it out loud. He'll wait till he get where he feel comfortable. Where he feel like, okay, I heard he don't really care for him. You know what I'm saying? That so they, they, they team up to try yeah, to figure he, out a way to do, get you out of here. They better. Because <laughs> <laughs> when you really, when you succeed, they, take, hey, they say the worst thing you could do is have a, a rich op. <laughs> wow, they, they, I heard that too. Yeah, That's yeah. the worst shit you can have, and, and what's worse than that is too rich. Too, you know what I'm saying? Too rich people in man. Too. What you talking about, man? Yeah. So when when you look at Boss Talk 101, what a boss is talk. Uh, when you look, Indeed. you've been checking us out. You've been seeing the move, man. Yeah, you, you seen us do our little viral yeah, movement man, the other week. Head toss the white bitch, motherfucker. Head toss the white. Hold it, I have a text in this motherfucker. <laughs> Talk about all that I text Hey, talk about hey, man. Hey, I see you. Say, hey, man. So that's my nigga. You see when the oh, when, when the viral moment? Hey, they, we had a little old issue, you know. And uh, you know, uh, uh, shout out to a uh, Tola uh, Mar and a uh, Melvin Farmer. They had to come down here, and and, and we end up hitting Vlad. We end up hitting World Star. Yeah. We hit every that stream. Motherfucker everywhere. Yeah. I see boss talk everywhere. Everywhere. I said, God damn. <laughs> Dallas <laughs> Global, Mogul <laughs> Media, everybody. Hey, man, he boy. Hey, it's Chunch. It's everywhere. I, I ain't know what that happened. I said, God <laughs> damn, I'm talking everywhere. I said, I might need to call and check on those G, man. Yeah, man, you supposed to, man. And it's all good. Come on. Man, but you know, I think a lot of times, like when you look at all the different platforms where where they had they uh you know they leap they great leap they go through a real moment like that to be honest with you I remember Breakfast Club uh Ray J yep. you know what I mean that's how that thing first popped off Fact. when he got into it with Fabulous and he was calling up there on the phone um or that that Birdman movement when Birdman uh, uh walked back on my name I'll boy he pushed the oh, whole man he pushed the whole <laughs> thing around in there man yeah, two minute interview. Uh-uh. It was two minutes. It was two minutes, but uh, did more numbers than any mm-hmm. interview they ever had. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Controversy. So, I mean, and and you know we come in the door loving and trying yeah. to do the right thing and family and bringing in yeah. black business ownership. And I think a lot of times people see people on the channel, and that's why people like you is important for me because I got to level off and balance and say, hey, man, we ain't just about that, man. We really showing you what's really going down with what yeah. we doing in Texas, what we doing in, in you know what I mean, the for whole the new south. Folks. For yeah. the new folks. For the, new folks. For the one that been here, they already know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the new folks. Yeah, and yeah, and, and you got to realize, though, we only been in the game for 11 months. Really? When you really calculate it, this the level month, and, and he and he the major one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a blessing. So Come at on. the end of the day, um, what's up with it? He days D, y'all still been linking up? Yeah, man. You know, really, I just been like I say. You know, I got some shit in the motion. Uh, we just shot so much shit. That's like he the like my. That ain't just my cameraman. That like my partner yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. You feel me? Like I gotta I call him. I ain't talk to him, man. You know, I usually I'm gonna man, call that nigga. Mess yeah, with he the cool man. He the always working too. You feel me? So you he seen the, you seen that move when I really cause you seen that move when I brought him up to Jefferson when he he filmed Charleston and, and we was down there at the Juneteenth. I seen a piece. I yeah. seen a clip. <laughs> he didn't put much of it out. I told yeah, him. I, I said, man, you gotta put that out. And we didn't never just get it back, get it together. But Go on, yo. but but at the end of the day, it was a good move because yeah. it was Juneteenth and we just wanted to do something. And he said, oh, you know, that's so, my. Area down yeah, there, yeah, yeah. So I when I, shout out Trill Talk, no P.O. Talk. That's my, my nigga, nigga right there, man. <laughs> Say, man, <laughs> hey, man, this man, be, hey, we be cutting up too. I got watch Trill Talk. Trill talk. I know what. I fu- so, Trill Talk be ready to fight by East Tech. <laughs> that nigga, hey, that nigga be ready to fight. 
Yeah, passionate as hell very about his passionate. Yeah, he and he gonna fight. Oh, he, he gonna fight. <laughs> don't think that nigga just on here no, talking. No, 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 he gonna fight. Yeah, this is Kevin Will. Don't think that nigga just out here talking. Yeah, yeah, he gonna fight. That nigga gonna fight hard. I already know it. And that, that's hard. the thing I, I think people take. Like, you got real people on these panels. You got real people that ain't trying to hear none of that, you know. But nobody's going for bad, but ain't nobody trying to be, you know, just belittled or talked right. down to. Um, that's a thing. It's a thing called respect, right? right? So we all right. long for that respect, right? Mm -hmm. So that's the thing I say, man. If you're going to do it, man, be tasteful with what you do, man, when it comes down to, you know, right. dealing with different people. But at the end of the day, people going to have their differences. Right. Some right. people it, not going to. I mean, because I think a lot of the conversation about these texts was right. A lot of times people don't support their own in these texts, but a lot of times. Like I told the certain people that was on this panel in Dallas, they don't support their own. Gonna, in Houston, they don't. So you gonna, you everywhere give, you go, you gonna give more love from another city and state. In anywhere you, you get, at, right? Yeah, yeah, fair. You gonna blow somewhere else before you blow back home. Yeah. Well, look how you did it when you went to school and all that, and you yeah. you brought all of that. Which that's what I like about your brand yeah. too. You brought a lot of everything with you. Like it followed you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. 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 It gonna leave it. I'm a good, I'm a good person. I don't. Yeah, I do yeah. good business. Yeah. If I if I get if if I get in tour with somebody, it wasn't my fault. You feel me? Because if I if it's my fault, I'm gonna side wrong. Man, I'm finna link you with somebody, man. Shout out PG, PGF Shout, man. That's my boy, Come man. On. He finna do a whole uh, pimp, uh, a pimpilation uh, type album. Yeah. I'm gonna send him some stuff from you. I'm gonna see if you and him can collab. I, yeah, yeah. He doing the whole, he finna do a whole thing, and he, I love the way he moves. I was just with him the other week. Him and Derez, uh, okay. good friends. Yeah. But man, I, I gotta get y'all together. Cause both of y'all be on that PMC. I, yeah, I, I, you know. I'm Sweet Jones Jr. Jr. <laughs> okay, then, man. Yeah. So, what? Okay, so what's what's up with who you want to work with this year? Now y'all know you don't be collabing, but Josie is Josie ever gonna yes. come out with some music, man? Yeah, he gonna come out. When, man? He gonna come out. I've been he, looking for that boy. He, he he getting shit together now. He like kind of like you feel me? He see what's going on now. Like he see, okay, yo, this shit for real. Yeah. So he gonna he finna come on with it. I sure hope so, man. I've been waiting on that boy, and you know I be getting frustrated, you know. Yeah. But it's just like anything else. We want it when we want it. That's yeah, just yeah, all it is. And like it. I tell, I'm a, if I go tomorrow, he he going with me. He could, already. He don't have no choice. Yeah. He ain't got no choice now. Like we locked in. That's like my brother. So we locked in. He ain't, nigga ain't got no choice. Man. And like you say, he goes to the club. We roll together, nigga. You fight. Ain't yeah, got no choice. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, <laughs> we gotta do it together. We gotta fight. We gotta yeah. lead together. So. Every day, man. Every time, bro. So what's the I, I, that text kind of uh, baby too. What, what what's going? What can we expect on that thing? Oh man, it's another no skipper front to back. I'm talking about front to back personal stories. Uh, you know I don't really hold back no more. You feel me? I'm at a point now where if I done did something, I done did it. Or I done seen it. I don't hold back on what I'm gonna say or who, who I'm gonna mention. You feel me? It is what it is. It's it's it, it, but it's it's where we from East Texas. You feel yeah, me? Yeah so yeah yeah yeah. It ain't something that I we could it's something we could represent, but it's something everybody gonna feel. Okay, tell me about this mic hanging out there, man, on this marijuana. Tell me what marijuana, the thoughts. What is this mic hanging that I see everybody doing, man? Oh, yeah, that's the, uh, that's what the, the hell, hell is, is the I, mic I hanging out the air? It's the mic hanging I out the air movement. I don't know where it came from. I know Visuals by D have been doing he it for been a while. Yeah, yeah, he came. I he, did. Shout out to Visuals by D. Shout out to Heat HD. Oh, well, I don't know where it come from, but I love it. I love seeing it's niggas just walk up to the yeah. It's hard. It's just extra content for somebody uh -huh. to put out. You feel uh -huh. me? And that's why I said, "Hell yeah!" When he arrived, I said, "Hell yeah, I do it." And we just came up. I was shooting a video. I was shooting a video with a guy named uh, E None and Done from okay. Atlanta. Okay, I'm shooting a video with him. Man, he the shit. We get ready to leave. And like I said, I'm my homeboy. So when I shoot a video, I'm doing a future for somebody, or we shooting a video for a future out and done. Man, he the pulling up together. So we leave and he like, shit, you want to got down, do a... One of them things? Yeah. One of them things? I said, hell yeah, let's, uh, let's pull up to the gas station. Drop that mic. Yeah, I've been there, got me some shit for real. Huh? <laughs> I've been really walking out the store. <laughs> so, yeah. Really walking out the store. So, so uh, that's the kind of stuff I like. I love the way the internet moves, man. Like, you never know Just what's going to be quick, next, quick, man. Quick, quick. So, are you trying to break into TikTok or any of that, man? Man, I'm, I'm trying. Yeah, that TikTok, I don't man, really, man. I don't make TikTok music. Yeah, I but don't you don't know. Just, just you don't know. know. Yeah, you, you don't know what's going to pop. You don't know. And I tell you what, I ain't really pressing it. You yeah, 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 yeah. You just making good music. Oh, because this shit I got. Nah, Sico man, it's good. Thing, remember? It good, though. Yeah, yeah. Sico said the same thing. He don't like, uh, he not a TikTok rapper, but his, his shit went on TikTok, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, 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 that's where it broke. Yes. Well, a lot of it broke on that. That boy went stupid on that tempo, I, man. I tell you what, if that would happen, yeah, I'll take it however it comes. <laughs> 
You feel me? <laughs> that ain't how I think it's gonna happen. No, I think hey, it's what, gonna what be. What you should do is take some of your uh, your clips of your old videos already, just put them on there. And let, put them, let that go. And see, I be doing this shit, you but do that. I tell you, I ain't active on TikTok. Uh, I, I'm on IG. Most, most of the day, man, 70% of the day, yeah, I'm on IG. Yeah, you can looking. always be looking. I'm looking. Tag. I'm looking. I'm networking. I'm talking. Yeah. I'm fucking with my niggas. I fuck with. You feel me? But you know the way to grow is you gotta go on to different platforms, whether they like you or anything. But that would have that's what the key is. No, something that. Is, is is something that's new territory for you, right? That pushes you, that make you like, damn, I'm, and and it keeps you humble because mm-hmm. you ain't really just that man on this spot. Mm-hmm. So it keep you humble, right? Right. So you get on there, like, damn, ain't nobody really rocking with Derez. Shout out to Derez, he on there. He just me and him were talking about that down yeah. there. He said he had to get on there, man. That's where he had, you know, he that's got a hell of a following, but it's still something he trying and yeah, pushing. That's the way. He that's cooking on way. that thing, man. Yeah, he start that's cooking. The way. So why you ain't? You could be doing anything the way you wild, boy. That that yeah. damn video where that thing was uh, in that girl, you know, was. The uh, man. <laughs> Hey, Uncle Luke, two point <laughs> I'm up <Uncle> a <laughs> Say that I love that, bro. Like the way Move that you, you you don't care. Ain't no oh, no hold no balls hell. Man, you know I'm having I'm fun with this shit, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm having fun with it. So, so I see, and I don't know if you want me to bring this up. But I see you on online with the baby, man. The way the yeah. boy say, man, how that make you feel, man? Hey, right, man, I got my running back. Yeah. Oh, really? You know I love music, but you know how I feel about football, man. I got my running bed. Yeah, it's up. Yeah, how, how is he dealing with that little man? Is he, oh, it's, it's he growing? Cool. Man, he growing, man. He legit like me. You I did. see. He just like me. He remind me of me. So yeah, I'm just excited, bro. Even with this, this shit like motivation. Yeah, when I get to go home and look at him, I'm like, okay, yeah, I need to go. I need to get to work because I take missing. I I take missing out on a month or two just so. He rested. He like taking curl. You feel you him? And, him and his sister. So, so Jeff Pullum was here, boy. That was funny to me when I made that nigga say smoothie. Man, that nigga say that nigga smoothie. You remember that? Yeah, I laughed. I said, yeah, nigga. Boy, yeah. that was. I pulled it out of you. Yeah, come on, man. You gotta tell the truth. You're, yeah, you got. You make don't get mad. Hey, man. you make him. You make him out. You make him tell the truth. <laughs> Come on, man. For that real. Was funny to me. I was laughing so hard, bro. Yeah. I was like, "Yeah, nigga, we got you." Yeah. But he, he was he was so he he just telling the way he, way he is here here. You know, yeah. everybody can have their opinion, man. So what do you think about these lists they be doing, man? Yeah, you be on a lot of them lists too, man. So yeah. so do you think it's biased or do you think the list is something that's needed or? I mean, it always be biased to the person that's making the list. That's that's that list. That's it. That's it. That's it. it. That makes sense. Yeah, my thing is I ain't never been a nigga war. If a nigga say, ah, oh, he ain't hard. Man, I come from the sports world where they tell you you suck and that's that. that, that. When a coach tell you something, I don't understand why niggas can take what a coach say. Oh, you ain't good enough. Go sit down. You second string. Mm-hmm. And a nigga don't say nothing else. That's it. But when a a, a blog or anybody say make a list and be like, oh, you, you ain't good enough to make top 10. Nigga cry about it all day. Won't make, will make static. Man, show I'm 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 the type of nigga I'm build I'm gonna show you. Oh, I can't do what? Oh, let me show you this. Same with same with, same approach I took to football. Like, uh, you come from Tesla County. I'm a I come in the I'm as a freshman. I ain't are oh, you not gonna play? We gonna read search. All right, let me show you something. I'm, I'm from the key, your number one defense on scout team out. Hey, let us. We gonna. Hey, we, what we gonna do? We gonna move you up this week. Get you some carry. Yeah, that's what I thought. I know it. You oh, messed up. Really? You, you, hey, you, ain't nothing wrong with saying you fucked up. So it make you motivated. That's what you saying. Hey, OG. Every nigga that said I was wet, they had to come back and say, Hey, I fucked up. <laughs> that's what they gonna have to <laughs> say, time. man. Every time. Every time. I, and that's my approach to it. I ain't gonna never be a nigga be like, Oh, these niggas sleep. He might just not know. It ain't. It ain't his fault. He don't know. Mm-hmm. So let me show him. Man, so I had this shit in football problem the whole time. Football. So yeah. are you are you getting? In, are you going live or you don't be going live a lot? Man, I just thought be about going live. You got to stay live, bro. I, I, it's a lot of shit. I don't be a lot of shit. Folk can't see. You feel? Yeah, me? yeah, yeah, yeah. So I be trying to stay away from it, but yeah, I'm on. You got I, to though. When I talk about live, go. I'm live. Yeah, and the reason you got to is because that's. I mean. I mean, you think about it, ads are being paid through, through you get ads paid through live, uh, reels and stuff. Those are opportunities that making finance because we already know the game, uh, how how tough it is in the music industry right now right. To, to make money off of the music because yeah. of the way people are doing it. So you got to come up with strategic ways. Like I said last time, merch and all that is so important because you guys are working so hard. And doing the music and putting so much into it, time and effort, we got to come up with ways to turn everything ROI and yeah. you know what I mean, get and it popping, man. Yeah. So where you at? Where you at tonight? What's going on tonight? You chilling or you going? You gonna be in the studio? I'm at fifteen on one tonight. 
Oh yeah, yeah. I'm with 15 on one tonight. We stepping out. Shit. Y'all stepping? Yeah, you know I just in the eights. So I came back a day early. I left a day early. Then they came back. Oh, they came the next day. So she, we out here. She. Yeah, that. they said they were going to some club. I, what did they say they were going? Uh, you remember? I forgot. I the, don't even know the name. I forgot of the it. name of the club. I know he the after party. Be live. So yeah, yeah, the yeah, be live thing. Uh, that, Trayvon. Yeah. Trayvon? Yeah. He knows. See, I don't yeah. be going out. So yeah, my, yeah. my, my co host gonna know. Now we do got a photo shoot tonight. Uh, hopefully we can rock that thing out. And 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 boss talk one on one gonna be. Everywhere, everywhere. Yeah, yeah, Come yeah, on. yeah, yeah. We it's time. It is. It already is. It's it all over the internet. I know it, man. I, 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 I thought I was gonna go and drop the merch website soon as he we hit. already did. Y'all already well, dropped. Yeah, it. I, man, I, I'm killing them with the with the, the outfits. They've been selling so like they crazy. Fuck a hole. Yeah, yeah. My <laughs> wife, man. Hard. Shout out to Miss Jamaica, man. Shout out to Miss Jamaica. Man, she be putting it down. Holding my OG down, <laughs> man. We keep our nigga right. <laughs> no, nah, man. We hey, we got something for you. She sent you something. She always gonna look. look I would preach. The criminal can't really. For me. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so man, I just I, you know, like I said, man, I thank God that our relationship, man, is real. It, it's surreal that is that we able to you know, boss talk one on one. You family, and anytime you you anything you doing, man, you can tell me I'm pulling up. You call me, I'm coming, bro. Yeah, it too. can be in ATL or Love. wherever, Houston, wherever. I don't yeah. care. It could be in New York, nigga. I pull up. Come on, man. you know I what know I'm saying? It. I believe. I it. promise. I believe you. Like, you like, always like, call and check on. I promise you, I pull up, nigga. And I be going places just be on the ball talk thing but if I need to switch lanes and go for something else yeah. don't don't trip yeah. you know what I'm saying a lot of people you know they tune in to boss talk they don't really know what's going on with the way we moving down here in Texas we trying to wake these boys up right Oh, it's a wave. Man, hey, listen, man. Uh, like I said, when I came into the game, I didn't even know that we were fit to rock out like this. Uh, I knew it probably was going to do it, though. Remember, we he said it yeah. from day one when we drugged the table up in there. Yeah. He said, man, this thing going to go, man. It's over, man. Yeah, it's going to go. Then you, and then he, I'm talking when we brought the table up here. I've been, been knowing stuff. It's like you just sit there and sit back and watch. Like, ain't nobody doing this already. So, like, when you start way doing we it, it's like you're going to start seeing it more and more. It's like, damn, this shit really glowing. Hey, the cream of the crop going to ride to the top. Hey, hey man. man. Check it, man. Hey, say, say man, you got to You, hey, man. So, how can people get a hold of you, man? I always do that. Man, Smoothie Poppy on IG, Smoothie Poppy, P O P P I. Oh, Twitter, Smoothie Poppy, same shit, S M O O D Y, P O P P I. That's it, man. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Okay, I'm going to ask you your top three artists all the time. They might change from last time because it, it, things tend to change. If you had to pick three artists that you would say is the top three artists of all the time, who would that be? Number one. Boosie. That nigga. My nigga. That, y'all agree with that? <laughs> Boosie. My nigga. Number two. Number two. I'm going to go Boosie, Drake. Then I'm going to go, uh, man, I'm going to go Pimp C. Damn, I knew I was going to get in there. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, nigga, that's the I'm reason go, there is a Boosie. It wouldn't Boosie. be a Boosie. Go, it wouldn't be a Boosie without Pimp C. I'm it go wouldn't Pimp. be a me without Boosie. Hey. Hey. <laughs> and I, I say Boosie because I'm from the South. You yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, we love Boosie. Boosie got his own... He got a coat following. Boosie can do shows till he's sixty off his old shit. They love mm-hmm. him. Boosie ain't got a. We perform- love him. Yeah, Boosie ain't got a performance song after two thousand twelve. You, you heard the uh, the mixtape just dropped. I yeah. ain't listened to it yet. I'm I'm waiting till I go out of town. Back to so Baton Rouge, boy. He went back to Baton Rouge. Slap! I seen yeah. young boy post it. He went. He, oh, yeah. he got a song called uh, "Free Little Top." For real. He rock with he rock with young boy. He love him. He got a whole song about Baton Rouge. Like the whole song is about Baton Rouge. It's that's hard. dope, man. Oh, man, that, right. that's the way it be, man. When you really, when it's really going down, man. The boy, like I say, he wild with it too. He don't play when you. He just like you. Yeah. When you meet him, he just loud with it. And I right. got a boosted tattoo, man. For real, I got boosted on my arm. Boosted tattoo on my arm. I got boosted wow. right now. And you I got your head right yeah, there. I know you Come had the pimp. All right, so you don't play with it. Yeah, man. I, Hey, that's the South. We grew man. up on so, so when you see Boosie getting in trouble and saying all the stuff that he say, well, I say get in trouble because you really can't get in he trouble get when, in you, trouble. when you when you when you when you free like he is, he nigga can't stop him. He can say whatever yeah, he, he want to say. Thank he you. ain't got to. Even if they try to, eat, they can cancel Boosie. The, they they cancel him. They didn't try to on Instagram. They didn't cancel him three times, four times. He still come back. Boosie get a show the next. He got a show three days later. And they don't care. The South don't care about that. Hell no, nah, nah, man. We got love for Boosie, man. All the way, nigga, uh, straight out of Dallas, all the way, all the way to Houston, back down to uh, oh, hey, back you Beaumont, got nigga. Got on back down to Shreveport. Hold up, up, nigga. All the way back yeah. down to Texas County, nigga. To Mississippi. Mississippi. And I never forget Tennessee. Mississippi for. 
what they did to Clyde and Ray, man. I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, what Miss Sippy did to Clyde and Ray, we can never forgive him. Say, so, hey, man, so. so. <laughs> <laughs> man, niggas so, ain't gonna catch that. You OG. niggas ain't gonna listen to this, man. You niggas ain't gonna never say boost without web it. Oh, these yeah. two niggas right there, they can. If anybody find them, shit, they gone. They you gone. Can, Chris D, shout out to Chris D. That my nigga, he hard, he sang, rap. So it's it's some talent down there in Tesla I love the way you you guys go hard for uh like like the artists that that, that come out your area. You know what I mean? Yeah. And. You're right, Arkansas. You jumped that line. It's right there. It's right there. I mean, you can't. You can, what about ten minutes over into it when you're in the, yeah, like, yeah. By the mall and stuff? You can be in. You can be in Texas and Arkansas at the same like time. That. Yeah, just split the line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, man. So, what what what's the good food places out there that I can eat out there in Texas County when I go home? Man, they got off the fire. It's a black owned business for sure. Yeah, it's a black owned business. Off the fire is pressure. Man, y'all getting that shout out off the fire? Off the fire, real talk. Is it Ooh. off the fire or fire? Fire off the fire. Off the it's fire. It's right across from sell? the studio. They sell everything. You can get your uh, you can get some dressing one day. You can Are get you some serious? Real soul food. I'm going. Soul food. I'm is going. Fine. They got some good. I need one. No, I'm going down there I, when I go home. I'm going. Hey, good ass, ass, ass punch. It's right and it's right. Hey, matter of fact, when you was at the studio that yeah, day, yeah. I came in eating some. You did. You know, I and came in with a plate. None. Damn. I came in with a plate. Show did. A plating some, a plating some of that uh zaza. Hey yeah. man, so hey man, um, anything else you need to get off your chest? That's it, man. man. Thank you so much, man. We love you, Smoothie man. You my guy, man. man for sure. You know so. already, man. How we do it, man. Listen, man. It's me and you, man, against the world, nigga. It's going down. Boss Talk One Hundred and One tied in with Smoothie Poppy, and it's going down, man. It's been another great <laughs> segment of Boss Talk One Hundred and One, man.